Hello wonderful people, Connor Whitmore here again with another video for you on the Naughty Step channel and today I'm going to be reviewing your suggestions. Last one of these came out in February and was a lot of fun. Great to hear all the gems you lot have up your sleeves and are willing to share. A great chance also of course to shine a light on those producers who are up and coming and really killing it in your eyes of which I think there are many across every genre of bass music and I'm excited to discover a load more today. Another collection of mini live reviews where you guys have chosen the music. I mean what's not to like it. Thanks again to everyone who sent something in. I'm gonna go through the most obscure ones. I received a lot here. Five or six from both Twitter and YouTube. The rules again were as follows. I can't have heard of the artist. It can't be your own song. At least two minute tunes. Anything based or dark electronic music and one track from you each no spamming at all obviously won't be able to go through every tune but this is a series now and I will be doing it again soon as I mentioned asked you both on Twitter and YouTube so yeah here we go starting with Twitter let's get choosing okay what have we got here well first up from the boy Manicious we have Prosthetic by OS or or maybe the other way around. If either of them was the artist, I wouldn't have heard of either. So, um, yeah, let's give it a whirl. Three years old as well. What the fuck is going on? <laughs> Very interesting. I can't feel like I can move along with it or that there's stuff to hang on to, but as like a soundscape, as a general atmosphere of a tune, it's pretty amazing. Sound design is pretty good. Kind of cuts deep, quite fresh, even though it is so dark. Etching itself into your body, you know. Found it difficult to uh, get into it per se, but sometimes that is the hallmark of a great tune, you know. The artist, by the way, was OS, capitals with a gap in between. A uh, tune is prosthetic, but um, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. Okay, moving on, moving on, moving on. We have a tune here sent in by the boy T-Rex, Ginger Review Boy, of course. This tune is Guru Meditation with LimeWire, or probably the other way around, because he said, uh, check out LimeWire's tune, so I imagine it's by LimeWire. Solid. Here we go. Take this gun. I like how everything kind of plays off one another. Nice dynamic going on there. Percussion needs a bit of freshening up, I think just to kind of unleash what's on top a little bit more. It's a bit muffled, a bit to itself. I like the idea, again, how everything plays off one another. It's cool. But you can hear the percussion just needs a bit more sharpness, you know? Hmm. I think that was a classic example of liking what's on top, but the backdrop not quite yeah, uh, backing it up sharply and, yeah, uh, finely enough, I think. Had a bit of a Leo Tricks kind of feel to it, you know, quite clinking, clanky, uh, mechanical, industrial, but not doing too much, uh, quite uh, neat and contained, which I liked about it a lot. But, yeah, little, little note there of improvement would definitely be the percussion for uh, LimeWire going forward. Okay, we got one here from Nick DeLong. Nick the boy, uh, we have a tune here from Cushy Bad, which is quite a cool name. Uh, haven't heard a name even remotely like that, let alone the name itself. So, um, Cushy Bad, Onslaught, let's do it. Oh, come on, bit of a housey banger, let's do it. Oh, jumpy, come on, come on. Liking it so far. What you got for me, fam? Yeah, um, 
This one isn't quite for me, I have to say. It's a bit clunky in the construction and um, the production doesn't quite glue it together. The idea isn't gripping me either. Builds are so good. Like the intro midsection builds are great. The drops though, yeah, um, just a bit jarring, you know, doesn't have uh, much of an idea running through it. Uh, feels a bit random and a bit thrown together. Some good stuff there, but the heaviness just needs to kind of own its space more and have um, a bit more flavor and cohesion and coherency running through it to kind of make it something I'd want to go back to again and again. Bada bing, bada fucking boom mate. Okay, we have one sent in here by Austin. Fancy candles, holographic. Haven't heard of either of them. Whichever one is the producer or artist, so let's check it out. Austin sent in Fancy Candles Holographic. Let's go. Oh, hello, hello. Mm, by Holographic, by the way. Oh, Ooh, come on, come on. I'm liking this so far. I sense a bit of neuro coming along. Oh! Oh! Oh, the musicality of it as well! Fuck! Oh, that is good! Got a bit of a Chi vibe to it. Holy hell, 539 followers on SoundCloud. Get following, people! Oh, shit! Oh, I'm a happy boy. Oh, wow. Fuck yeah. Fuck, fuck yeah. Oh, just so incisive, you know, and well put together and just very, very sinewy and twisted and detailed and again, quite visceral, you know, just really cutting deep here. Quite dark, but it's also got that warm and uplifting musicality, you know, running through it. Fucking good. Yeah, I'm going to check out that EP and holographic overall. Uh, Mr. Austin, thank you very fucking much. Okay, here we have Snipey, who has sent in Preach by Eye of File. Is it a capital I or an L? Who knows? Who gives a shit? Here we go. Preach, Eye of File or Low File or Eye of Feel or Low Feel. Fucking who gives a flying fuck? Let's hear it. It's not fucking... Ah, I could tell from the very, very moment those synths kind of came through. Not dark electronic, guys. Come on. Not bass music. Come on. Uh, I know Scylla. I know The Living Proof. I know Crow. High maintenance and also as well. Dark Matter or Code Unit? Uh, I think it's Code Unit. <laughs> is going on a bit. Where is it going? Oh, I thought I thought it was going to go Oh, there. There we go. <laughs> Some good sounds in there, but as you can hear, just a bit disjointed and a bit just not really gluing together. Just sounds a bit jarring in the construction of it. Some good little moments, of course, as you can hear. That percussion though, beyond the cool sounds kind of making themselves known every now and then. Not very, again, not that cohesive and uh, together as a tune overall. Okay, finally on the Twitter sphere, we're gonna go for a tune sent in by Alex, uh, Tyra's music sphere. Uh, Ampsa. I think the producer is Ampsa and the song is Fear. Okay. Savon, is that you? Oh, hello! Oh, yeah. Love the energy of that. Attitude. Flavor. Fuck yeah. 
me. Two years old though, so I wonder if he, she, they got more stuff, more recent stuff. I'm gonna check it out. I like that. I did like that. Can he lie? Short and sweet as well, just kind of very to the point, does what it wants to do, and then just ends again with the piano. That was really good. Okay, now moving on to YouTube, which is a bit more difficult just because when you give a link, it doesn't give you a preview of it with uh, the artwork and whatnot. So uh, I can't see as easily uh, who the song is by, but I can see in the link, uh, the SoundCloud links anyway, the YouTube ones, it's a bit more difficult, but um, I'll try my best. Okay, first up here, we have La Fight Records with Ghost Card in the uh, link here, uh, gonna see. If it is fine, it should be sent in by Pellet Project, which is a funny name as well. Big ups to you, my man. Okay, the tune is called Ghost Card, but it's by Julo on Lafite Records. So here we go, Julo, Ghost Card, Burbayam. Hashtag wonky. Let's get some wonk. Ooh, yeah. Sharp, sharp. Mm, clean, I'm liking it. Decent. Not a captivating idea per se, not a lot kind of bringing me back in on the ideas front, but some of the sounds on show are fucking juicy. Nice little dancing of little sounds going on there, very intricate, very intricate. Ooh. <laughs> Swimming through my body. Yo, Wakan should sign up this bad boy right here. Fuck me. I just love the detail in the percussion there, you know, so crisp, punchy, defined, and all the wubs kind of swimming through that, you know, not amazing ideas, but when you hear design like that, you just, it just kind of hypnotizes you in a way. Fucking decent. Moving on swiftly, we have Sloy with Cloudburst, sent in by Rix, which sounds like good fun. Sloy, Cloudburst, here we go. Another pretty industrial opening. What's going on here today? Come on then. Yeah, it's quite good. It's quite good. Little dancing sounds kind of firing off again. Again, one of those where the dynamic between sounds is good. Oh yeah, no. The percussion there is just a bit off. Something a bit weird about the snare there, but apart from that, loving the force of it. Got a good attitude again, just kind of throwing itself at you. Good dynamic between sounds in the heaviness there. Good flow as well. Percussion wasn't great, uh, especially in that middle moment, but also in just the heaviness overall, I think. But um, no, good mood and tone to it as well. And um, yeah, a decent little number. Asora Coma. Yeah, God, um, never heard of Asora before. Not a Scooby. Can anyone help me on that one? I've heard of a lot of these before, I have to say. Let's click on a few random YouTube links, shall we? Okay, this one in from Luminarium. Let's open it up. Okay, here we have F777 with Pirate Dance Machine. Let's go. I think my face says it all. I mean, it sounds like a pirate song, to be fair. Oof, that really kind of cuts deep here. Not in, not in the good way, like down here, like in my eardrum. Yeah, no, sorry, I can't. I, I, I can't. It's a pirate song, I will give it that. It's got a, um, a definite pirate quality to it, but, um... Yeah. Okay, another random YouTube link. Here's hoping the next one is a bit more together, if you will. Okay, this one sent in by Logeton 
or Logiton. Let's open it up, shall we? Okay, haven't heard of Kuchop before. Uh, yeah, Phase by Kuchop on Cyberduck. Okay. Quite nice so far. How is it so similar to the last one? Bit of a housey electro kind of feel to it and um, the production just also got a bit of a pirate feel to it, you know, kind of journeying along in your ship. Okay, dubstep breakdown doesn't sound great, I have to say. Yeah, again, again, I, 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 um, I'm finding it difficult to... Uh, stick with that one. Moving on now to the final tune. Please, please, please let it be good. Okay, we're gonna go to Plant Nation here, who's given another YouTube link. Gonna be the final one here. Channeling the good energy. Let's have it. Come on, Plant Nation, supply the goods. Ooh, okay. Here we have Shape Shifting by Five House or Shouse. Uh, I imagine it's Five House. <laughs> Okay, ooh, uh, groovy, dark, luring me in. Ooh, mid-tempo, dark synthwave kind of thing. Uh, percussion, man. Uh, just needs, like, freshening up, sharpness, higher pitch, maybe. Where's it going, though? Carrying on, layering where it can. really knows how to layer to be fair and take away yeah good stuff the snare really was stopping me from loving it everything else was so good quite calming quite chill i like it got a nice kind of charm and story to it i'm liking it decent amount yeah not bad at all you know nice sense of story to it uh, got charm, got a bit of an alluring appeal. Couple of uh, percussion moments I wasn't big on at all, but I think everything else on top was pretty good. Overall, a decent tune and a nice one to finish up on here. Again, a lot of good stuff you guys sent me there in amidst the not so good stuff. In particular for me from Holographic, Ampsa, OS and Julo, I will be giving them a follow ASAP. Again though, it is a series and I will be doing it again soon. May have different rules next time to kind of uh, spice it up a bit, if you will. But yeah, keep your eyes and ears open for that one when it comes around. But there we have it, another episode of reviewing your recommendations, your suggestions. I hope you enjoyed the video and got a couple of big tuners out of it as well. If you enjoyed the video, then be sure to give it a big old thumbs up, subscribe if you're yet to, hit the notification bell along the way, and my social media accounts are linked below. And lastly, stay safe, keep it naughty, and I'll see all of you legends in the next one. Peace.